Hello, truckers, and welcome back to Snow Runner. And we are on the Harvest Court map, and I am getting myself into a mess. I gotta remember how to get that oversized cargo, which is over there. Oh, that's right, you gotta go that way. So this is kind of the area where. Oh yeah, am I gonna get be able to get around this corner? I gotta grab some oversized cargo to deliver some mail. Uh, I don't think I can get in there from from here. I got in here before, but that was with the Royal BM, I do believe. But to get in here with this system? Alright, let's see if I can get around this corner here with the trailer. I feel like I'm going to get hung up on it. It'll bounce it around. Alright, we'll get around the corner. <laughs> oh, it is bumpy in here. So, we're bringing the oversized cargo up to a certain location because... Also going up there, we can grab the concrete blocks to hopefully finish off the bridge that we started building last episode. All right, so where is... Yeah, where is this lost cargo? I think I went... How did I do this before? I mean, like I said, I did think I did with the Royal BM. But getting in here is getting to be a pain in the butt. Hopefully the trailer would just bounce around. Meaning get around the corner. Oh, this is this is ridiculous. Oh, that hurt. Oh, these fences kind of fall down because I've just driven through a couple of them. I mean, there's a couple spots I can't drive through them. Yeah, we gotta find a better way out of here, I think. <laughs> I'm almost over there, but then again, almost could be so far away it's ridiculous oh okay that fence isn't knocked down all right all right so there is actually the oversized cargo I need is there another way out of here I, I'm guessing I can't knock down those walls All right, let's go ahead and set up our crane system. Uh, activate anchor. All right, let's get into the crane or activate the crane. Let's get the crane actually over the carrier here. All right, can I lift this up? All right, let's pull it in closer so we get a little bit more stabilization in it. And once I do that, we can definitely raise it on up. Okay, we were doing it before. Okay, how about if I get it closer? Oh no, it was lifting up just a second ago. Oh, there we go. Now it's going to lift it on up. All right, lower it down. As long as it stays on the trailer... Okay, I think it's going to stay on the trailer. Uh, let's exit on out. Let's go here and pack cargo. Impossible to pack cargo. All right, so we don't have it on good enough, I guess. All right, maybe if I slide it down a little bit more. Uh, I forgot. How do we rotate the cargo? Uh, rotate cargo with Q and E. No, let's rotate it the other way. This should fit on here. I don't want to say no problem, but it should fit on here. A little bit more. Let's release it. All right, let's try... Let's try packing the cargo now. Perfect. Uh, restore crane. All right, we're all set. <laughs> but now I got to get out of here with this, um, which is easier said than done, right? I'm just looking for maybe like a wall. I could. I mean, can we just. I mean, that's not going to move. Uh, 
Can I go through there? I, I don't think so. I'm just pulling in here so I can back up a little bit and get a better angle on getting out of here. Ooh, what am I? Oh, okay. Yep, hitting that fence there. All right, that makes sense. One engine damage for just barely nudging that fence. All right. The only thing I'm worried about is the back end of the trailer getting tipped over by going over something. So I got to try to be kind of careful with this. Boy, even in real life, driving over like the fences like that, that could easily poke a hole in a tire. Kind of forgot how difficult it was to get in here. But we do like a challenge. Oh, the trailer is hitting the fence. Just enough. Alright, let's turn the wheel a little bit more. Trying to watch the front and the back at the same time. Almost impossible, right? I mean, I probably could have gone with a smaller trailer and set up here. But this is what we have right now in the Harvest Court map. Am I going to get around that corner? Am I going to hit something? Nope, we're going to get around that corner. One hour of loading up cargo and getting out of the parking area. Once we get out of here, it's, I don't want to say it's smooth sailing, but it's pretty darn close. All right, I probably, can I just go through, can I go through here? I should be able to go through this, right? All right, this is the way we're going to exit. Okay, maybe I thought that was the road. I think, where is the road? Oh, the road's over there. All right, we can get through here, I think. Fingers crossed, nose stumps. I'm trying to take a bird's eye view to make sure there's no stumps there. I don't see any. And carefully go through the drainage ditch. Don't take a sharp angle so the cargo tips over. Although if it tips over, it's not that big of a deal because we do have the garage here now. And the Royal BM, I think, is at the garage. I think it's where we left it. All right, so all I want to do here before I go much further is get the map out. And I just want to pin. All right, so we're going right past our service trailer. Let's pin this. And then we'll pin this. And this is where we're going. Right up to here. And that same spot where we got to deliver this, that's where we got to get the concrete blocks for the bridge that we're building. Uh, wait, which way? Oh, this way. Okay. For some reason, I thought I had to go on the right, around the right side of the bridge. Okay, we kind of stay on this side here. Watch out for the rocks for the most part so it doesn't tip us over. Probably should put it in low plus just to make sure that we're not trying to put too much torque to the tires right away. Now we are going past our service trailer. So when I do that, of course, I should fuel up. And I probably should repair the engine as well. Back to automatic, and we can get going. Just got to be a little bit careful on this road. As we all know, sometimes you go on these roads, and you hit a pothole somewhere that you didn't see, and you cause a whole bunch of damage to your vehicle.
There is our service vehicle. Should have plenty of fuel in there. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and refuel. Maintenance trailer to the Taga. Yes, please. And let's exit out of there and then repair. Not recover. Wait, is that just a fuel? I thought that was a repairs area as well. Refuel, turn beacons, recover. Delete trailers, change truck stuff. And, okay, so... All right, so that's just a fueler. Unless I used all the service equipment that's on there. That could be. As long as there's fuel, that's good. Oversized cargo. I kind of forgot what I was... I mean, forgetting a lot because I'm making so many episodes uh, lately and a whole bunch of other things going on, but... Kind of forgot uh, where we left off here in uh, Snowrunner. I was thinking I was doing a bridge where I had to build with logs. And then when I logged in, I went, oh yeah, that bridge. Got to finish that bridge. And then I remembered, oh yeah, we're going to do this task to bring this on up. Get a few tasks done at once. So when I get up there, we got to grab two concrete blocks and then come back to that same bridge. At least the rain is stopping. And then I probably... That's right. If I recover the Taga, the Taga goes back to the garage, but the trailer does not. Not that the trailer needs fixing. I guess I'm going right through this. Kind of wanted to go a little bit more to the other side, but I don't know if that angle will be enough to tip the trailer over because the trailer is going to be a little bit top heavy with what I assume is mail. Let's head on in here. And we can see right where the mail needs to go. And that might be the same exact spot where I need to load up with the car, uh, the cement blocks. So 340 XP, 2800 and some cash, which is good. So what we need here, is it concrete blocks? Uh, hey, whoop, wrong buttons. Uh, let me double check on it. That's the, where is it? Uh, unfinished bridge. Start tracking. And it's, uh, two concrete blocks. So it's those. Thud, thud. Uh, two concrete blocks. All right, let's go back down to the bridge and get that installed. Oh, uh, wait. I'm just going to double check. Am I? We're actually on the Institute map. For some reason, I thought we were on the Harvest Court map. But then when I started driving around, I started thinking this map doesn't seem familiar. Uh, so there, there is no garage. Although we do have a repair and refuel station over here. So, yeah, I don't have a place to recover. I do have a couple of vehicles on this map, though. So if things start to go south, I can always grab another vehicle. And I think there was one at the repair area. We can come on over and grab it. I mean, if the cargo tips over, that's fine, but... Because we still got the crane on the Taga. But if the Taga tips over, then I'm going to have to utilize another vehicle. But the drive back to the unfinished bridge should be simple. If I uh, happen to roll over, then I really messed up. back through this little bit of a mud hole.
Okay, we came through the first time, no problem, with heavy cargo. Uh, do I have anything to attach to? Oh, we do. Can that little tree get us out of here? Trees are amazing. At least the ones in SnowRunner. <laughs> Let's put her back in automatic and let's get rolling. Trying to think if I want to fuel up at the trailer or not. I always say, I know, fuel up every time you go buy one. Uh, I would just like to leave it there for more serious situations. Well, that trailer is sliding around everywhere. I wonder how the trailers configure their tires. So, do they go by with almost like the same tires you got in the vehicle that you're in? I have no idea. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on fuel. So, I'm going to bypass it for now. Make sure I stay on the right-hand side of the road. Uh, there's a stick in mid-air right there. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I probably should actually have a vehicle that's a fueling trailer and tanker because I can always recall that vehicle that, that has a tanker on the back. And when I recall it to a garage, it'll always be full of, you know, the tanker will be full of fuel. I bought a trailer. I don't think if I bring that back to like a repair center, if I repair the vehicle, I don't think it's going to put fuel in the trailer. Although I could bring the trailer to a fuel depot and fill it up that way. But on the Institute, I don't think there is a fuel station other than the repair area with a garage. Uh, well, garage. Uh, yeah, just repair area with the... Uh, the fuel itself. I don't know if I can refuel that there. Okay, getting this bridge up is going to be very important. through the river pretty good. Actually, high gear might be better coming up out of there. Oh yeah, much better. Right, now we're throwing the automatic. Guessing this is going to be all that we need to finish up the bridge. We brought the beams over before. Seven ten XP and sixty eight hundred bucks in the bank account, which is always good. All right. So now with the bridge in, uh, a gifted horse. I kind of forgot what that one is. Um, start tracking. Uh, repair the the step pike. All right. So what we can do is I think we'll take the trailer with us in the toggle. We'll come by and we'll just wench it up to this truck. And we'll bring it back to the shop and we'll repair it that way. Another bridge down. We got a couple to go, actually. 
Uh, I don't know if there's any more on this map, but there definitely is on the Harvest Corp map. Oh, probably shouldn't have drove right in the middle of the guy's field. That was not the best idea. That little bush is going to get me out of here. I was just trying to swing it around, and once I got into the field, I was like, uh, yeah, that wasn't the best plan at all. Alright, let's back up to it. Let's see, if I just do a quick wench, is that going to, I think, attach to it? Oop. Forward. There we go. Uh, we'll turn on the engine to that vehicle behind us. It'll help us out somewhat, right? I mean, it's not in the best shape. I hope we get to keep it. That'd be looks like a cool truck. Never gonna say no to a free vehicle. I'm thinking though, uh, the one thing I want, reason I was bringing the trailer with us, is I want to leave it at the repair area. Ooh, that hurt. Just not going to crush that tree up. There we go. Um, that way, if I ever go back there, or when I do go back there, it'll be easy to get the Taga to go back, refuel, repair, and grab the trailer. I'm hoping when I drive through the repair area that it repairs the truck behind us as well. I don't know if it just repairs our own vehicles or is it going to repair others. I should be able to take this road to our left. Now, if it doesn't repair the vehicle, what I can do is trying to think do I have a scout vehicle on this map so a scout vehicle especially our Tuz has a good amount of repair and re uh, fuel on it I think I can just go repair it that way then drive the Tuz to the repair and fuel area here and just keep refilling it back up until I get this thing fully repaired I probably they should have checked. It says repair, but I do I need to deliver it anywhere? Probably should have checked on that. I may have to bring it back. <laughs> I always forget about that. I just see repair and refuel. It's like, all right, we can do that. Then after you do that, it's like, oh yeah, you need to deliver it to this area as well. And I forgot to read about that. Reading. Not for me. Get around that mud puddle, but don't cut the corner too short because of the telephone pole. I may have hit it with a truck. Somehow it just damaged its own fuel cell. had it in high gear and I slowed down a little bit too much. Or right, at least I will get repaired.
I will top myself off with fuel. Oh, I can't uh, do that with the truck behind me. Because it's turning off the engine on and off. Um, that does not get repaired. Well, all right. Uh, can I hop in that vehicle? Is that a thing? Uh, change trucks. So that is a truck I can't get into. <laughs> okay. Um, well, yeah, uh, you know me. Uh, gifted horse. Where do we got to deliver it to? It just says repair. Tell you what, if you put him back together and get him off my land, he's all yours. Okay, so I just got to repair and refuel it. Uh, no, engine, you can stay off. Engine, off. Uh, do I have... See, there's the Taga, Tatra, maintenance trailer. All right, so there's the maintenance trailer. What do I got that's out here? The Tatra is out here. Well, we're in the Tatra, we're turning this thing around, and I'm hoping with everything on the roof rack, when I go repair the vehicle, I'm hoping it refills everything on top. I don't know if it'll do that or not, uh, but fingers crossed. So I got a little bit of a journey to get there. I do like this vehicle, but for getting somewhere fast, it does not. Trying to figure out does high speed work or automatic work better for us. So it's gonna be a little bit of a trip. We'll get there eventually and hopefully we can repair this vehicle. And we'll get to keep it. Uh, what I'll use it for, I'm not sure yet. But it looks like a fun vehicle. Ooh, the sun is setting, so I may have to advance some time here. But see how far we can get before it gets too dark. This thing doesn't really have a top speed on it. But then again, I don't have everything unlocked for it either. I haven't found all the upgrades for it. I can say that about a lot of vehicles in Central Asia. I haven't found a lot of upgrades. I probably could go online and I'm pretty sure someone has a map loaded up somewhere of all the maps in SnowRunner where you can find upgrades and whatnot. Oh yeah, we're not going through that. I can't get over that pipe. Uh, let's turn on all-wheel drive. That might help me in this situation. Okay, I don't remember the road going through here ever being this bad. This is where we got stuck with the CK-1500 and we were towing another scout vehicle, I think. Oh, yeah, because I marked the road. I thought I was coming out that road, but we're not going that way. 
almost thought I knew where I was going. Should I bring the maintenance trailer with me? Well, I need to find out. So we're going to take it with us. I can at least refuel it. I should be able to refuel it at the fuel depot. This thing does not turn that well. But with four axles on a short chassis, you wouldn't expect it to, I don't think. Uh, attached trailer, I hope. Perfect. Alright, now I just gotta pull a 180. I like how it has the beeper for backing up. Who else are we warning here? There's no one around. Come on, wheels. Let's turn it. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this thing around, basically, is what I'm trying to do. Might be morning before I get this back on the road. Right, let's go ahead and the right thing we can do here in SnowRunner is 6 a.m. once again. Lovely. There's that floating stick. Yeah, if I can get a better gearbox in this thing, it might have more top-end speed on the highway. Although, right now, it doesn't seem to be going that bad. And, of course, I marked the blue marker right on the bridge. High gear, all-wheel drive. Can I get through the river without uh, getting stuck? Right, uh, where's low gear? There's low gear. I just have low gear. I don't have low gear plus or anything. And all right. Winch on up because we are kind of stuck. Still stuck. Uh, let's throw on diff lock. This should be the toughest part of the journey, I believe, right there, going through the river, which really isn't that tough at all. Although, I am making it a challenge to do so. Let's turn off diff lock. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have. Turn it back on here. Yeah, that gave us a little bit more traction. Okay, I want to go over to high gear. Can we do that? Thank you. around this little mud hole now, even high gear this doesn't seem I mean this truck is not made to be a speed demon well I can see the service wrench that's where we need to go that's where that's where our truck is waiting for us Put her back in automatic. I think we should be able to do that. This river shouldn't be a challenge, but for some reason this truck, I don't know, it just, 
I feel like it underperforms for what I think it should be doing. Whoa, that's deeper than I thought it was going to be. I think I missed my mark. Uh, oh, winch is connected, but it's behind us. All right, this may require low and diff lock. I was kind of shooting for that little mound of dirt right there, but for how deep I am, I don't think that's where I want to be going. Uh, yeah, that's not looking good. Reverse out of that. Uh, let's go where we probably should be going. That is over here. Uh, can I winch to something on that island? I can, but I don't think any of that is going to... Oh, no. It's going to pull me on out of that. I think. Okay, I don't know what I'm stuck on here. Okay, I am out of winch points. All right, how about we... Uh, I mean, I could go get the Tatra. It's just... Um, the Taga. Is this around the corner? But how about we do it like this? Let's go ahead and detach the trailer. Okay, uh, let's winch to that now. <laughs> That's going on down the river. I don't know how far that would have gone. I don't know what I'm hitting here. Can't really see below the water line. No, I definitely can't go anywhere now. Oh yeah, I was trying to I was trying to winch to something, but I can't because I'm winched to the service uh, trailer. Okay. Um, and that is just going to float on down the river. So I can't leave it parked here either. Uh, it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. All right, maybe I'll just let myself float down the river and see what happens. I'm, I'm going to have to get the Taga to get us out of here, I think. Although, I'm kind of hoping that there's a sandbar behind us. Wait, does that get rid of the... Uh... I turned off the engine and that discoupled the winch? I don't know where the intake is for this engine, but it's, it's, it's pretty darn good. Trying to get up this riverbank. I want I want to recover this without having to use a Taga. And it's be, it's becoming difficult to do so. Alright, maybe if I back up more. Maybe right here I can get up. Oh, I just doesn't want to go up that, that little bit of a sand bed. I'm going to try to bring that trailer closer. Why can't I get up that little bit of a riverbed? Are we actually pulling closer or... I don't think so. 
I mean, I can see that riverbed going up there. Do you think I should be able to just drive right up that? Remember how I said, uh, you know, the hard part was over? You know, I, I got to make things more difficult. I wonder if my service trailer is not stuck. What I'm going to try to do now is I want to detach the winch and hook up the trailer to the truck. Oh, it attached. It was floating away, but it attached. All right, that whoops. Uh, that'll help me out quite a bit, actually. So he says. I think I floated down the river too much. <laughs> I don't know where this is going to go. I do have the winch free now, but I don't think there's anything in sight for me to... No visible winch point. Of course not. So how do we end up here? Um, well, you know, you took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. That's how you ended up here. And I can't look below... I can kind of see below the water line at certain angles. Boy, it doesn't look that bad there now, does it? Well, we can back up no problem because the river's pushing us by. It cannot go, it will not go forward at all. I mean, the driver is not doing too well. He's been underwater for a while. Are we moving forward? I mean, we were. There are no rocks there, though, whatsoever. So I don't know why we can't move forward. I am thinking today is not my day to be in SnowRunner. So in my rush to get the Taga on over to <laughs> get out the Tatra in the river. Yeah, um, that's a problem. And yeah, I, I don't have... We can't do the winch because I need power. Unless... No, I didn't get lucky enough. I thought maybe leaving the vehicle and come back, it would start up. I have no other vehicles on the map currently. So currently my, my Taga is on its side. Uh, I made it to here. And currently our Tatra is here. Um, kind of slowly going down the river. I think when I'm not in the vehicle, it doesn't move. So that's a plus. So let me get back up to the Taga. So, nope, nope. The Taga, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll have to bring another vehicle, get this up, right? <laughs> There's no garage here. I mean, I could recover, but it's going to go back. It should go back to uh, another map. Let me just retry this here. If I go recover, uh, yeah, it's going to go to the Harvest Corp garage. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're on the Institute. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave these two vehicles here. Uh, we'll bring something else to the rescue as of what it could be the royal bm uh maybe i'll get something else out of uh 
I don't know if I got anything else in stock. Maybe I'll go to another map and find another truck I haven't used in a while. And uh, we'll get the situation. I mean, a gift horse. We were, I mean, the truck's there. And then now a whole mess is happening. Um, and I'm just making it worse and worse today. So I'm going to call it quits. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.